Hey guys, welcome to our new video. Today we're gonna put some SD cards on a little endurance test to see how tough they really are and what they can handle. It's gonna be fire, ice, everything you can imagine. On all SD cards we've got 10 photos from our previous KOOF videos. So they're all the same and we check afterwards if the photos are still there or if we can even read the memory cards. The whole video is brought to you by Stella Photo Recovery Software. It's a great tool to bring back your lost or deleted photo, video and audio files. There's a free trial version that you can check out. We also have this official promo code for you where you get a little discount. Now let's jump right into the video and have fun with those little laboratory experiments. Woo! Make it burn! <laughs> So we jump right into it with a tough one, the first memory card. It goes under the tire of our off-road car and let's see what happens. Okay, let's go up. Let's see what we got. Here it is. It looks surprisingly good to me. You can see the tracks of the tire. Some slight scratches, but besides from this, no bigger damage, I would say. So I think this could still work. So for card number two, we need our tools and see if we find something that is tough enough. Let's go, check it out. Maybe this, or oh, maybe this. Uh, this looks good to me. We're gonna hammer it, bam! Whoa! Okay, this is definitely deformed, broken, and definitely worse than the, the tire of the, the off-road car. What a great day for testing some SD cards. Sun is shining, a cold drink. I don't have a ah. I have a drink, but I don't have an opener. This is test number three, the bottle opener. No beer for me today, but... So, result of this battle, bottle one, SD card zero. Let's get to test four. So, with SD cards, I always wondered why they have this cut-off corner. So, with test number four, we're trying to cut off another corner and see if it still works. Come on, stop fighting! It's over! It's sharp, but not sharp enough. Let's see what else we got. This will do the job. This worked. Now we got the cut-off corner. So as the beer bottle didn't open, I need another refreshing test. Um, this is test number five and I need some crushed ice for this. First a refreshment for myself. Mm. Test number five. So this is the ice water test and we're gonna put the card in for 10 minutes. So the number six goes into the freezer. We've got our little plastic box where we put some water in, then the memory card, and then for some hours in the freezer. And afterwards we crack it open. So here's our SD card, fresh out of the freezer. Nice little ice block and we're gonna break it open with a hammer. Here we got it. Ah, looks pretty nice. It's 
So this is card number six, our freezer test. So number seven is our dirt test. We get some gravel here, I'm gonna put it in this glass and then we shake it for a while. And now we put the card inside, close the jar and start shaking. It looks pretty dirty, but I think it survived. We cook some water in the kettle and then we put the memory card in for some minutes and see if it survives. So the water is boiling, now we put the SD card in, maybe for five minutes or something until it's nice and tender. Test number eight, the boiling water test. Number nine is the fire test. We got this candle and we're gonna hold it in the flame and try not to melt it, but give it a good amount of heat. Maybe it was a little bit too much heat, but we will see what happens. So this is test number 10. You shouldn't do this one at home. We put it into the microwave. A little bit disappointing. No sparks, no nothing. So I would say it survived. Finally, the test you've all been waiting for. The firecracker! So we're gonna stick the SD card to the firecracker and blow it up. And this is gonna be fun. You know this is gonna be fun. <laughs> so we've got this metal bowl. We're gonna put it on top. But the SD card doesn't fly too far away. That's what we guessed. Let's fire it up. It looks still pretty good, so you see the, the scotch tape protected the firecracker, it only broke apart on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna loosen it, take a closer look. So this little piece here broke away, let's open here. If we get it into the SD card reader, it could still work. Interesting result, a firecracker test. We are back at our desk with all our SD cards and we're gonna check which one survived and which one didn't. Let's get right into it. Number one, this one is the off-road truck card that we ran over. Put it in the card reader. Oh, disk you insert was not readable by this computer. Jump to number two, the hammer card. Let's see if we get it into the card reader. No, this one also doesn't work anymore. Let's go to number three, the bottle opener card, which is also pretty damaged. It shows up on the desktop and it works. <laughs> 2000 years later. So the surprising conclusion for us of this test is that we have nine SD cards that work still pretty fine and only two that are totally damaged. For those two SD cards, the Stellar photo recovery software may not be the right solution. But Stellar offers an in-lab service where we can send those two SD cards and they use different methods and there's still a pretty good chance that we get our files back. We prepared an SD card where we deleted all files and I want to show you now how the Stellar photo recovery software works. We go to the Stellar website and there's a free trial version that you could download or use our discount code um, where you get 15% discount on your full version. So here we see the starting screen, click next. So here's our test card, scan it. 40 files found in three folders. So here we see our deleted JPEGs. They're all selected. Click on recover. We also have to select our destination. Let's put it right to the desktop and click save. And I think we should be done. Yes.
Now we check here's the recovered pictures from our folder. This was the pretty impressive Stella Photo Recovery software. I hope you liked this video. Um, tell us in the comments below if you ever lost any files, destroyed any SD cards on purpose or accidentally. And I hope we see you next time.